Hi, I'm Rosie Cake Diva. Today I'm going to show you how to do some very simple flowers in a Kidston style. This was a cake I did for my daughter and everybody loved the flowers that I did on the um, letters. Well, they're very easy to do, extremely effective, but you can still do them if you're a beginner, I promise you. Now, you can use a couple of things to paint on fondant or royal icing. Uh, you can use luster dust, these are little powders, and you dissolve them into rejuvenator fluid or you can use vodka. Vodka tends to make it a little more shiny. The rejuvenator fluid tends to dry very quickly, but you choose which one you like to work with. This instance, I'm gonna use the rejuvenator fluid. You could also use food coloring pastes. Now, I don't like the liquid colors that you get from supermarkets. They're not very good at all, but the pastes are really good to paint with. And again, use vodka or rejuvenating fluid to water them down a little bit, or you can use them straight from the pot if you want it really thick. Uh, I've got my four different types of luster dust just for this particular one. The idea is I'm going to do a faint pink and a dark pink and a faint green and a dark green and I'm just going to build it up. So I've just used the rejuvenator with the luster dust and I want to start with a very faint pink. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to choose where my roses are going to go and I'm going to do a background of pink and I'm going to space them allow my cookie. There we go. That's all I need to do. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the green and what I'm going to do with the green, I'm going to choose the lighter green. This one's called Kiwi. I'm simply going to do little leaves or little leaf shapes. They don't have to be perfect but they're just going to go two or three around the outside of each pink splodge. Trust me these will build up and they will look like flowers by the time you've finished. So all I'm doing is gently putting light green, vague leaf shapes around my flowers. Now the next stage is to use a darker green and what I'm going to do is give those leaves a little bit of definition and a little bit of shape. And again it's not difficult, I'm not doing it exactly, it's just a very gentle effect I'm doing, not trying to be perfect. So on each of these leaves I'm just going to go on one side and do a little bit of a highlight. There we go. Occasionally I can go around two sides. Now I want this dark green to actually show so I want it to be stronger than the light green. Now once I'm happy with these leaves I'm going to do a similar thing with the flowers. So I'm going to load up my brush a little bit stronger than it was before. And this one's a ruby colour. I don't want this one to be as watery. And now what I'm going to do is just pick three or four places to do a little petal shape. Very, very rough. And I'm alternating them. You see I'm alternating them just a little bit. And if you look at that on its own, it probably doesn't look like a flower, but by the time you've done all of them, the effect you get is that they're all little pretty roses. So, and the last one, and there you go. Obviously this is just one simple design. You can layer it up and do as many designs as you like and use as many colours as you like. Don't be afraid to use the colours. As you can see, I've done another cake here for my other daughter. This one was using food colouring pastes and you can see that it's a lot stronger in colour, but you can do whatever you like. If you want to see some more ideas and inspiration, feel free to have a look at my Facebook page, Rosie Cake Diva.